Jojo Farm. Welcome back to Jojo Farm. Today, my employees are putting together the finishing touches for a tea leaf farm. Tea is a new form of produce that's come in with patch 1.4. You need a tea sapling to get the whole thing going, and you get your tea sapling from Caroline. Caroline has a new sunroom at the back of Pierre's store, and when you enter it on a sunny day, you'll get this cutscene, and she'll tell you all about tea. Uh, what's happening? This is weird. When I'm alone with relaxing tea, my mind is empty and three to wonder. Who knows what might appear? What the heck is that? Oh my! That creature was in your drink. You have spiked my drink! It is now drinking the drink that it was in. I'm very weirded out by this. What is happening? I hope that makes sense. I think the only thing that make, makes sense here is that I've been drugged. So the next day you'll get a letter from Caroline and it'll contain a recipe for the tea sapling. Now your tea sapling is made with wild seeds, fiber and wood. Wild seeds being the tricky part. You're gonna have to do a lot of foraging to put those together, but hey, wild seeds have never been this useful before. Anyway, here's the layout that we've come up with. As you can see, it's really important that you can always access the bushes because they act very much like trees. You can't walk through them like you do crops, so you gotta be able to get to them. We got a nice little layout going on here. It kind of ends up looking like Pokeballs on the bigger map. Coolest thing about growing tea is that it doesn't need any watering, and it only produces on the last week of every season. It doesn't need scarecrows, it doesn't need watering. All it needs is picking for one week at the end of the season. So it could essentially make your life really easy as a farmer. So we should probably take a look at the entire layout of the farm. So if we go straight down here to the bottom of the menu, we can take a screenshot. When we open up the destination folder, you can now really easily see the entire layout of your farm. It used to be quite difficult to put together screenshots of your farm. Sometimes websites could do it for you. But if you wanted all your textures included, you'd have to do a bunch of like editing. But now, it's a feature in the game. We can see that uh, my graveyards need some uh, tidying up. And half the crop was branded in winter and the other side quite low. We used to have blue textures for the farm, but of, of course most mods are out of date at the moment. We got the tractor back, but uh, it normally looks a lot more blue than this, but boy, it's cool with the little fish ponds down there too, I think. So what we're going to be doing today is growing an entire crop of tea and seeing how much profit we can get out of it. Just the raw version and the brewed tea version. And remember, you've got a greenhouse too, so get your tea set up in the greenhouse. We're going to be including that in our total. When we've got all the leaves, we're going to sell them straight away to see how much they're worth, but we're going to duplicate the amount with the CJB item spawner and brew them up as well so we can see how much profit difference there is between the two mediums. Okay, so now all we have to do is just relax for an entire season because we ain't going to be busy until the last week. Do you hear that, everyone? We haven't got any work to do for almost an entire season! Woohoo! <laughs> almost an entire season later! So here we are, it's the last week of the season. And we've got our first crop that's come through. Beautiful. Fun to pick. Lots of it. And of course, the best thing about this is, these bushes are going to produce every single day of the last week. That's seven different picks. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of produce. Hang on a minute. That means way more work than usual. Oh! And we can't forget about the greenhouse as well. I've got to pick the greenhouse. Because that's got to go in the total as well. So all in all, we've got 614 tea leaves. And I'm going to sell those straight away to see how much they cost. And I'm going to duplicate them and brew them to see what the difference is in value if we brew them up. Brewing can be a very difficult process. I mean, if you do it with anything, really, it can be quite tedious having to wait for them to spawn. But uh, thankfully, tea is a lot like coffee, so it doesn't take a very long time to brew. Oh, actually, it appears we've missed a few leaves. Oh, look, we've got the lava eel pond down here. It looks real nice. Okay, so the tea's done. 617, I, I remember to put in the extra leaves as well. That's the true total. That's gonna go in the shipping crate. And we're gonna find out how much all this costs. So as you can see, we've got over 90 grand. And uh, yep, if you brew the tea up, you basically get double your money. So it makes sense to just brew your tea if you're patient enough to do it. Good money if you don't wanna brew it, but yeah. I mean, look at this. This is just from one day's pick. 
So yeah, it's safe to say tea is a very profitable item of produce. Probably just very difficult to get onto a mass scale. But even if you have some of it, it's going to be a really reliable source of income. When I realized how much picking was involved with this crop, I came up with a plan, and that was to include Junimos. Now, I wasn't keen on Junimos until I realized we can now turn them into blue Jojo Junimos, just by adding a gem into the hut. You unlock this by finding a secret note that tells you that you can literally do this. Any color gem you put in there will change the color of your Junimos. Do you hear that? Using Junimos. Might not have to do any work at all now. Ooh, now we can be wet, my love. Um, who are you? This might not be the ideal setup at the moment, but think about it. No watering, no scarecrows, and no harvesting. We're not really going to need anyone to look after this crop. Oh, wait, there still needs to be one smuck who's got to process all the tea. Oh, bugger! Thanks for watching this video. If only Junimos could work on rainy days and plant the crops as well, then it wouldn't need any of my employees. I could sell their organs on the black market and make a bundle.